Hey guys, this is Bounce from Headball 2. Today I'm going to record a video, talk to you about um, why I think it's important to join a team. So um, I'll give you a few tips about various aspects of actually joining a team, what we do, what you can achieve out of it. So I am currently a member of Revolution A. As you can see here, I am in seventh position in fan count and I am a vice captain. Everyone is a vice captain and I'll talk about vice captaincy in a little bit. But um, yeah, what I'm going to do is actually leave the team and apply back again. So I'm going to write a little message here to my friends because there's an in-chat app. Hey guys, recording a vid. Oops. You can actually chat with people. You leave and come back. Please accept. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. So you have an in-chat game feature um, that um, enables you. Hi. You, know, you can do a bunch of things. I mean, it's good fun. So essentially, when you want to leave a team, you will find the icon here with the door and the arrow to the left. And that, are you sure you want to leave the team? So I've left the team. So it's um, right now I don't have a team and you can either create a team. If you want to create a team, it costs you 50,000. It's quite hard because people won't join you. You want to join good teams and I'll talk to you about how if you click join, it won't actually give you much option. So you don't want to do that. You will see here, you will have a little podium on the top right here. Uh, one, two, three. So you actually want to pick a team that is active. And how do you know if a team is active? Well, you try to get closest to the top. It's, it's pretty, pretty simple. So you will see here sometimes there are locks next to teams. And that means that you actually have to apply. Now, either the vice captains or the captains can accept you or they cannot. If um, a team doesn't have a lock, like the challenges here, I can just join. I know some of the guys there. And I'm in. Points, pound points. Pounds joined the team. Um, that's not actually the team I belong to. So I'm going to leave. And um, so I'm going to go back here. Um, you can join or create, but the best way to find a team is actually to go in the rankings. I'm going to go to Revolution A, which is my team. I'm going to apply. My application has been sent, so we'll see if they accept me. They should be accepting me, so we'll keep, um, we'll keep an eye on that. But um, yeah, why should you join a team? I think, uh, first of all, once a week, you have a team box session. And um, essentially, you have to gather fans in three different tiers. And every time you contribute and you actually just need to play one match, as long as the team as a, as a group completes the objectives, you get rewards. Now, uh, there are different tiers. Usually in the first team box, you would get um, a small pack, like a costume pack, character pack and some gold. In the second tier, second box, you would get a character pack or... Uh, diamonds, something like that. And uh, on the third box, you'd get many diamonds and one or two packs. So it's kind of it's kind of cool where you get you get stuff because of you of your contribution. And I don't know. Oh, I've been accepted. There you go. See, uh, just a few features again here. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Um, just a few features here. Why I think it's important to join a team for personal motivation because this game you know if you just play i mean it's it's pretty repetitive the seasons are the same the events are the same so you can see here when i started in this team i actually had five million fans which was about six months ago and what i think is cool is that you know you try to gather fans and there's competition like me right now i'm fighting with jesse talwar and sunky to sort of stay in the same ballpark range you know if i if i let my guards down and i don't play then they will accumulate more fans so it enables me to sort of have some competition, um, which can be healthy. I mean, obviously, there are people who are a bit aggressive and take it to another level, but I think it's a good way to motivate yourself. Um, that's that's obviously one part. Um, two, you definitely uh, feel good when you move up the rankings. I mean, we have a, another team that's called Revolution B, where some of our guys um, are actually in there and some of them might not play as much, or we expect fans uh, fan counts to be at 10 million because you can see here that um, the lowest ranked player is just about 10. So um, it's good fun. And you can see here the 45,000 was actually on Team Box 3. So you had to gather 45,000 to actually get the reward. 
and the team boxes here are you know listed and they will give you information <laughs> i'm telling them to be quiet um you know so so obviously as the more the team plays as a group the more fans you acquire and the, the higher up the rankings you move so i think it's a good way to actually uh, get involved and stay motivated and uh, on our end as well we actually do have uh, we've managed to get everyone on board to create a whatsapp group now that's that's actually pretty cool. Um, we have here um, Revolution Ace. I'm not going to show you the conversations. Um, Dodo is actually the one that I just talked to on Headball 2. So it's good because, you know, people are on, online at different times of the game. So whenever there are events, you know, new events that are posted or stuff going on with the rankings or we're playing a team box, for example, and it opens and someone is working or someone is doing something, then he gets notified by a WhatsApp message, which is obviously received faster than you would through the in-game uh, chat room. So, you know, for me, like I've told a lot of you before, I've got a lot of personal problems in my life. So it actually enables me to keep connected with people. So I think it's really good. So I hope you enjoy the video. I'm not going to take too, too much time. Just wanted to show you the, the, the ins and outs of, of a team, how you join, how you leave, what you can um, get from actually being on a team in terms of rewards and, you know, just staying motivated with the game. So I strongly advise you to, to, to get on a team. Now, obviously, the lower your fan count is, the tougher it's going to be to be in the top 10. So you want to gradually start down and, Pay attention if the teams are locked or not. And as you increase, then you can you can always move up. There are plenty of teams to choose from. Um, it took us a while to get to number one. Sometimes Prodigy actually overtakes us. So it, it's a battle between the two of us. And it's it, it's good fun for the most part. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I would be most grateful if you found this to be helpful. If you could kindly uh, press the like button. And I do post videos quite often on meaningful stuff regarding the game. Subjective, not... Ob I mean, objective, not subjective. So... I do post videos pretty much every other day or every day. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Bless you all. And I will be seeing you around later. Thanks, guys. This was Pounce.